Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is the place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, navigating the Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. When you're editing in Premiere Pro, you're going to spend an enormous amount of time in the timeline. You'll be in other areas, but that's where you're going to be doing your cutting. So it makes perfect sense to understand the best ways to navigate, be able to zoom in, zoom out, jump all over the place. Let's go have a look. So here I've got a timeline with uh, a few things in it. And of course I can drag the playhead and move across here. If you're going to edit something like right down in here, I have a transition. We're zoomed very far out. So it's hard for me to see this transition and I want to edit this little dissolve. So how do I do that when I'm this far out? Well, you want to be able to zoom in and there's a few ways to do this. One way is to use this bar down at the bottom and you can drag this bar left and right. It's a combination of a zoom bar and a position bar. So once you're zoomed in, you can get position and see there's my cross dissolve. I'm just going to double click over here and open this up and now I'm editing that cross dissolve. Something like that is only uh, available when you're zoomed in far enough to do that. If I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, I can zoom all the way out. And if I hit my backslash key again, I'll zoom in the same amount. Let, let me just make sure you understand that. Let's go over to here and instead of using the bar at the bottom, I'm going to use the plus and minus keys on the top of my QWERTY keyboard. Plus, 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 plus. One, two, three, four times in on that point. And then I work in here and I do some edits. And I hit the backslash key, come all the way out, move all the way over here and I want to do the same kind of editing. Well, instead of hitting the plus, 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 that's four keystrokes, I press the backslash key to get all the way out, to zoom out to my timeline. Pressing the backslash key a second time toggles you all the way in. Watch this, backslash. Now I'm zoomed in. I just saved three keyboard shortcuts. Backslash, move over here, backslash, backslash. So remember those keyboard shortcuts, whatever the last zoom value it is, is that you'll uh, be good for. All right. If I hit my home and end keys, it's going to jump to the beginning or jump to the end. No problem. Just like a word processing document jumping from the beginning to the end. If you want to move to the next clip, the up and down arrows are allowing you to do that. So you can quickly jump into those to find your spot. If you've got a mouse with a scroll wheel on it and you hold down the Alt key on Windows, Option on Mac, you can also zoom in with the scroll wheel. And it doesn't matter where the playhead is, normally zooming in uh, is with the playhead, but I can move my pointer over here and now I'm zooming in over here, even though the playhead is off screen. One other thing about using the up and down arrows, Notice that I have a title here and the title ends over here, but when I'm hitting up and down in the arrows to go between my clips, I jump past that. That's because over here on the left, this is the track that I'm targeting. That's what this blue area is. If I want to jump to every single point in between here, add shift to the up and down arrows and now I'm jumping to every single point inside here. Nice way to navigate. Next up is being able to navigate up and down. This isn't that complicated of a timeline, but it's very easy to have Premiere Pro timelines with literally hundreds of tracks. I only have a few tracks. And not only do we want to move left and right, sometimes we want to move up and down within that timeline. And right now, if I use my scroll wheel and I'm not holding the Alt key or Shift or Command or Option, I'm just moving left and right. So this is the default setting inside here. If you go to your preferences and in the window, uh, in Premiere Pro Windows, it's in the edit menu, but on the Mac, it's in the Premiere Pro menu. You'll see this default right here, timeline mouse scrolling horizontal. If I change it to vertical, 
Now when I use my mouse, I'm going to be going up and down between these. But I like to leave it at the default horizontal because if I add the command key on the Mac, control key on Windows, and use my uh, scroll wheel to go up and down, then I'm now moving vertically, let go of command or control, and I'm moving horizontally. So hopefully between those modifier keys and a zoom wheel, oh, by the way, it also works with a trackpad so you can pinch and zoom in, and all of those things do actually work. So that's really important to understand um, if you're an editor. A lot of times I talk to new users and they wonder, how do I edit that? Because I'm, they're zoomed too far out. So you're constantly finding yourself zoom all the way in, make an edit, zoom all the way out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. You're doing a lot of that all day long. And if you save three or four keystrokes every time you zoom in with the backslash key, that's hundreds of keystrokes out of your life, thousands of keystrokes uh, a year. Or so your fingers will be much better. All right. Hopefully you found this informative. If you did, then please take the time to click the subscribe link to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then jump on over to adobe.com and download your free trial, 30-day trial version today. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.